Ditto. Same here. Same. Sus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you want to do that over? No. No, he said sus. <laughs> <laughs> this recording sus! <laughs> Sorry, I was just being dumb. <laughs> uh, being dumb is fun. Uh, it, it is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know, right. being dumb sounds kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm not. Welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. Today's going to be a bit more of a cleanup session to more so show off how to get some of the other upgrades like some extra health cells or energy cells that may have been eluding you throughout the game and a couple of ability points primarily for upgrading your abilities to get even stronger before we head into the final area of the game oh, so sweet. we're back into the hollow grove now we can visit hollow night <laughs> oh god help us all <laughs> where's my compass charm <laughs> i don't know where i'm going <laughs> Wait, Leon? He's <laughs> like, ah, oh, he could never get his sense of direction right. <laughs> but yeah, because he doesn't have the compass charm! <laughs> but yeah, now that we have, like, every ability in the game, oh, there's a lot more options available to, to us for, like, exploration, finding different kind of goodies, including the light burst, which they added all new areas for us to get to in order to look for new items, such as this. So yeah, those things that were hanging throughout the level, now that we have light bars, we can light them up, and it'll just open up more of the map. Oh, not even the holy fires I see. Oh, oh, okay, you morons! Yeah, they just drowned! Wow. <laughs> That's like, not even fair. Yeah, Ooh, or he's just looking nice up at him. Nice thing of water! Let's yeah. jump in! Yeah, or... <laughs> It's like, yeah, Ori's it's just like, looking it's, up it's at like, them. It's like, Ori, just, just live in a pool for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can breathe underwater, right? Just live the rest of your life underwater. Yeah, but fish! <laughs> oh, oh, is Ori afraid of fish? Uh, well, no, but uh, the fish are enemies. Oh. Yeah, uh, you, you, don't, you know what? You have the little wisp falling behind you. It's like, he, he can take care of it. <laughs> See, get him. An annihilate them, and you, 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 and you pretty much have, you're pretty much good on nourishment for God knows how long. Yeah. All right, but I also did want to dedicate this part a bit too to either like uh, clarifying a couple of other things from like previous parts that were uh, that I may have like stated here and there, as well as answering questions that maybe uh, you two might have in terms of uh. In terms of Ori, like, uh, as a game, its story, and maybe some of its characters, if you have any? Um, okay. Yeah. I guess, um, off the top of my head, and this is honestly one, something, like, I just thought of right now, so it's like, I don't, I don't remember if you necessarily covered it or not. So, I know, um, so we know the whole point of the big bad guy in this is, you know, it's the owl, she lost her babies and such, so... The other little owls that are flying around are, you know, are those are those also her babies, or are they part of the same species? Like, you know, what's with the, what's with the other little owls? Uh, I did touch upon this in a, in a previous part. Uh, no, they have no relation to Kuro. Okay, that's where it's like I couldn't yeah. I couldn't remember if you had or not. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no, I I've. Remember, I believe it was actually it was during the part when we uh when we used uh rock slide for super effective damage on Kuro. I said, yeah, no, there there are no relationship. Okay. Now while they may not be uh, related in some way, from that from that perspective, are they still technically working for the owl? Are they uh the big the main uh honchos uh henchmen hench birds? Uh no, actually. This is also something I think I touched upon in an earlier part too. All these enemies that we're running into, they have, they also like have no business with Kuro. Oh like, right, right. Is... Like, the, the other species of creatures that are not birds. Okay, yeah, that I understood. That I already understood. Those definitely had no affiliation with Kuro. Like, like, re like, wow, really? Frogs working for an owl? Shoot, man, it's really getting some Sly Cooper shit. 
It's like Sir Raleigh the Frog working with clockwork. Oh shoot! No, no, but no, 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 no. Yeah, that that I understood. It was the it was the fact that okay, we already had like smaller uh, owl enemies and such. Yeah, it's like I was kind of thinking, you know, like they would have some kind of a not a relation per se, but affiliation with Korra. Yeah, uh, no, they don't. Okay. Yeah, and, and honestly, that's part of the interesting thing I do like about, like, uh, the enemy design when it comes to Ori, where it's like, yeah, like, none of them work for Kuro, so in a way, this feels a lot more like just straight up, you know, you just fighting the forces of nature. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, That that's essentially what I got out of this whole game for the most part. Yeah. It's like, it, in the forest, it's either kill or be killed. Oh, I thought that was Undertale. I mean, it's that too. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, then again, that is a that is a common story theme for some books, where it's like it is uh, man versus nature, and Ori definitely does have some. Oh, well, okay, it's funny because you do save nature, but you also have to fight nature at the same time. Right. Like, nature is scary. <laughs> yeah, damn, damn nature, nature, you, you, sc you scary. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look that son of a bitch go. That thing come by my house, I kill it. This <laughs> says Ori as he drops the rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what they say, uh, rocks are the best weapon. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> for instance, they make great bait for lasers. Yes. And with this huge boulder, I block the huge beam of key. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh. You seem to be taking it rather well, Blazer. What the fuck am I gonna do with it? I'm a laser! <laughs> Yeah, well, not my problem now, is it? Well, see ya. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, another interesting thing that I wanted to point out as well, like, the game doesn't make it too obvious, but it does give a bit of a hint to it when you, like, kind of think about back to the cutscene when Kuro, before stealing scene from the spirit tree, ended up, like, uh, killing a large number of uh, the spirit guardians, leaving Ori to be the last of his kind. But, uh... The, the tree, like, uh, the saplings that we've been getting our memories from, those are actually the, the those are actually the fallen tree spirits. Hmm. Huh. Oh, Alright. Because, yeah, like, because if you're, because, uh, if you recall, the detail that scene gives us is that, uh, the, the, yeah, the detail that we're given from scene is that you know, we're more so- we're absorbing the memories of these trees. Which would imply that they were- they were beings at one point with memories, and the only things that could have been scattered, like, added, like, across the land were, uh, the tree e-spirits that were blown away by Kuro's wings. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. And, uh, that actually does have a bit of foreshadowing for Will of the Wisps. Oh. Not gonna okay, say what, that though. I didn't know about. Yeah, n n yeah, I mean, n n like, uh, not gonna say what, but we'll get to it when I eventually get to the game. Right. <laughs> that guy just said, fuck physics. <laughs> <laughs> Much like a lot of other characters in other video games. Yes. So yeah, now all the life cells are going to appear on our map, making them easier to find. <sighs> hey, TV. Okay, well, well that's good. Yep. Uh, I believe you get that by breaking a number of energy crystals. Okay. Oh boy, now this did- Okay, I mean, thankfully there's a little bit of dim light in the water, but oh man, yeah, it's, get, it's really getting close to being completely dark. Is it getting some Gris vibes? Oh yeah, like, like Gris vibes. 
a good a good number of uh, underwater levels and Rayman Origins and or Legends. Ooh. Oh yeah, those those, those, those those levels were creepy. I yeah, don't care like man, I, I certainly would like a bit more light in this area, Koro. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. I mean, come on. L listen, I know you're a grieving mother and all, but you don't have to punish the whole forest. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, the charge jump can do damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, ultra light burst. Yep, now our light burst is uh, it has a greater range of explosives. Ooh. So, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, I take it like, you know, pretty much like, because like you said, you're cleaning up and everything shit. Like, you're gonna, you're going, unlocking all the abilities? Uh, not all the abilities. Like, I, okay, I know I prime, I think by the end of this, I do get all of the blue trail and the, and the red trail. Not so much the purple trail, mainly because, honestly, there just comes a point with, uh, the purple trail where it's like, I could generally get everything, but... Honestly, not all of them are all that not all of them are all that useful, at least not useful to me. Like for instance, like the last ability on the purple trail allows you to like be capable of seeing uh being capable of seeing like secret areas without you having to uncover them. But uh I can just find them on the map anyway cuz I I know like what un what um uh, what certain details on the map are to show that I haven't explored certain parts of the area. Okay. Yes, I'm more so focused on making sure Ori is at his maximum attack power, as well as he has all his upgraded abilities. Like, when it comes to, like, a uh, map upgrade- oh, rip that guy. <laughs> but when it comes to, like, again, certain map displays, I don't necessarily need them uh, up to a certain point. Okay. So, um, that being said, like, I, I don't recall if you established this in the uh, earlier part of the playthrough. But I guess with that in mind, does this essentially imply that this isn't going to be a 100% run through? No, well, I, I didn't. I said that it wasn't going to be a 100% playthrough near the beginning of the Let's Play, mainly because there was one energy cell that was eluding me throughout the whole playthrough. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it, it's probably been so long since we recorded, like, during the first part that I, it must have slipped my mind. My bad. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Ow! Or eat those are spikes. You're not supposed to blast into those. He's like, well, fine, I'll do it this way. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, yeah, I'll do what I want. <laughs> do you not see my jumping shenanigans? <laughs> Bitch, I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I am the greatest stand user. <laughs> and and it shows as you jumped head first into those spikes in the ceiling. Oh yeah. Oh god, speaking of stand users, did you guys see, um, what's called, uh, Rice Pirate put out his, uh, episode 2 of his JoJo series? I, uh, I actually didn't even realize he uploaded chapter 1, like, in late, in October of last year. So, oh, shit. So, I wa so, so I watched all of that, and then I watched all of chapter 2, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, cause, like, I woke up this morning and saw that he had uploaded, um, he had put up episode 2, so I was like, oh, snaps! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, it's like, say, say what you will about, you know, the fact is not like, oh my god, this isn't like 100% animated or whatever, oh my god, it's a motion comic, it's like, yeah, motion comic or not, this is, this is a really good, this is an impressive, very well made fan animation for JoJo, mm -hmm. like, it is very well done in so many aspects. So uh, now that we got more power to our flame to our flame spirit attack, uh, you want to see you want to see these uh, giant slime creatures get fucking nuked? Sure. Sure, why not? Oh. Okay, he's done. It's... Ah, your stand power has increased. <laughs> well, it's about damn time. <laughs> it's like you gained. It's like it's like oh my god, you gained a new level. Hey, hey, Beast, he got check out these sex got, pistols. He got he got pierced by the arrow and hit and 
And yep, here we go! Ultra off. stop! Oh, oh shit! Oh boy, here we go. So not only did the hitbox get bigger, it is stronger. Alright, so all right, so essentially now Ori will be able to, you know, just use the ultra stop and it'll essentially cause an earthquake in the entire area. <laughs> Ori used earthquake, it's super effective. <laughs> yes. Exactly. The curse like, but wait, I'm a flying type, I should be immune to that. Nope. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Here's here's the here we go. But actually, you could say that they're distance demon. And they're dead. And it's the the What the hell? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> the reach. The reach. That is just That's just nasty. <laughs> Damn nature, you scary. Damn or you scary. <laughs> And, and you know, it, it's funny too, because it's like, I, I've actually heard criticism, some criticisms with Will of the Wisp where they're like, they don't like how many like new things that they give Ori. They felt like a, it, they felt like it was so much better in Will of the Wisp, in uh, Blind Forest, where he was a bit more of a vulnerable character. I'm like, I'm sorry, did you not see what this motherfucker can do in this game? Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, or is when, when your very vulnerable character has this much power behind him it's like it's like look criticism is fine at all but it's like <laughs> with, with, in this particular scenario that criticism is rather irrelevant <laughs> or is this to imply that despite ori pretty much being god tier now he's gonna be even more broken than will of the wisp uh he has a healing he has a he has a means of recovering his own health in will of the wisps oh 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 a healing factor all right that's, yeah <laughs> that's, that's great <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, don't even get me started on the spirit arc. That thing's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely a good way. It decimates bosses. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god. It even pushes back the owls. It's like... Oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. The bet... You, you've now upgraded your owl rapid and, fire. And now we have a faster rapid fire! Oh my. Oh, 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 oh wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 your, with your, with, uh, with your wisp there? Yeah, like, he can attack faster now. Oh. Oh my, oh my god. I know we were joking around about it, but it's like, okay, this is becoming more legit. Yeah. <laughs> He's increased his power, he's increased in speed, it's like, I, I tell you what, this has literally become, like, the next Star Platinum, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, Kuro's just looking at it, it's like, HE'S GETTING MORE POWER, STOP HIM! <laughs> We're trying! Oh no 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 <laughs> He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out! Mm -mm. <laughs> We put in a power here to kill an elephant! He's still going! <laughs> ya yada yada. <laughs> like seriously, Ori has essentially become a uh, kid Jotaro. <laughs> like when he's when they were fighting against uh, a Lessie. <laughs> what? Guess. You mean to you mean to tell me that Ori could kick ass even as a little kid? Yeah! <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. And now we have Ultra Defense. All damage is reduced by half. Yeah, see? Case in point. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> no, no, come at me. Come at me. Come at me, bitch. I dare you. Oh, okay. <laughs> or you can just fall off and die. All right. Yeah, see? The bitch no, see, is too he, scared of me. Yeah, see? He was, no, he was smart. He knew not to pick that fight. <laughs> it's like, nope, 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 nope. I'm out. <laughs> I, I, I'm not messing. I'm not messing with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I know when to pick my fights. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I believe um one. with I believe with some of the changes that uh Definitive Edition made, like because of some of the new areas, you can get more health and energy cells compared to like uh the previous game. Like I believe by uh I believe in the original you could get to a maximum of twelve. Uh they increased it to fifteen in this game. Oh, okay. You know, because you know you, you need it. Th those extra three, those extra three hit points matter. Oh, no, no, no. oh. well. Oh, round two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, it was my domain. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> On the contrary, I kill you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 also, uh, scene's explosion range is now even greater. Oh god. Y you know, <laughs> the one move that I've barely been using, aside from having to blow up a couple of, uh, a couple of rocks. Oh. I see. So, bigger killer queens. Yep. But yeah, that's all the health cells within this game. And, uh, the achievement proved it. I got it. Trust nice. me. Yeah, get game well set <laughs> Is I don't believe me. I have proof that I completed this by unlocking the achievement. <laughs> it was right there. I, I got I got the receipts. I, upon completing this, I also uh, unlocked the uh, Halo Katana armor. So uh, that means I'm better than you, and it further proves that I am capable of completing such a task, so, uh, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that even came from. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm laughing for a different reason. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I, I know my joke wasn't very funny, I know. Uh, no, 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 there, there's, a, there's, a, no, there's a reason why I think it, there is a reason I'll think it's funny, but I'll get to it some other time. Oh. Okay. But, uh... Like in the next part of Ori, maybe? Uh, probably not the next part, but... Probably not the next part, but, uh... uh it'll probably be something I will get to sometime. It will probably be something I'll get to, like, sometime a bit later, whenever I'm... Maybe playing Will of the Wisps? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, but, yeah, with that... Uh, we did we did a, a relatively bit of cleanup here and there, getting a couple more upgrades for our for our little weapon of mass destruction here. Uh, so tune in next time as we head to the final dungeon in Ori in the Blind Forest. We shall see you there.